Thank you, Madam Chairman. I uh, rise in support of uh, the Pence Amendment for a number of reasons. I, uh, as was indicated, I do come from, from the state of Kansas, and uh, in listening to the debate this evening, it's uh, rather interesting to uh, find uh, very little support uh, for actually the institution of Planned Parenthood and, and a full discussion of what, uh, what they have been involved in. Two days ago in the state of Kansas, uh, another hearing was conducted. Charges are moving forward. 107 criminal charges, criminal charges against Planned Parenthood. It's very interesting that, a, that an entity under criminal indictment for covering up more than 100 crimes, failure to report, helping cover up incest, rape, the list goes on and on. It's happened in multiple states. A young lady by the name of Lila Rose has indicated, if you don't believe me, take a look at the tapes, Madam Chairman. Take a look at the tapes of how Planned Parenthood is helping sexual predators, helping sexual predators continue their activities. Madam Chairman, I uh, also like to point out that uh, one thing that we cannot forget, I must admit I certainly disappointed that our Supreme Court somehow claims there is a right to abortion. But we do know there is no right to the public treasury. There is no right to the taxpayer dollar. There is no right to demand that Americans front this organization with their taxpayer money. That's the question in this amendment, Madam Chairman. The other question to face here, and we need to be very clear, and I do, my wife and I have four adopted children, and they're watching tonight, but they're adopted children, and they come from a group of children. The history of Planned Parenthood has targeted minorities. My children are adopted. It's the very type of children, this organization, and there's evidence it still continues today. Undercover work has shown again and again how this organization locates in minority neighborhoods. Madam Chairman, it's not only fiscally irresponsible to send our taxpayer dollars to this type of entity and organization. I think it's morally reprehensible that we would send $300 million of our hard-earned money to an entity that targets minorities, that helps sexual predators, that continues to cover up rape and incest and sex slavery. There is no excuse for that. Everyone in this body should be standing on their feet and recognizing, no matter your position on the issue of abortion, we should all agree, our taxpayer dollars are undeserving of the efforts of Planned Parenthood. The history is clear. The present is clear. It's time to defund this entity, they are unworthy of our dollars.